If you've been noticing patches in the lawn, especially throughout the summer and into the autumn months, you might have a lawn disease called red thread. Now, red thread is one of the most common fungal patch diseases which is found in lawns and it can be a sign that your lawn is missing a key nutrient which I'll explain next. Typically, it causes brown patches of turf and you can see its distinguishable features by almost pink or purple strands and the strawy texture underneath. If it's not dealt with quickly, it can rapidly spread throughout the lawn and I'm going to teach you how I like to treat red thread in my lawn coming up in the video. So first of all, what is red thread? And red thread is caused by a fungus. The good news is that red thread won't often kill off the whole grass underneath and the areas will recover over time. However, however, it can leave some unsightly blotches and brown patches which will spread across the lawn and it can really spoil the visual appearance. Some people can also confuse this to dry patch in the summer or areas that just need water in. So look for the telltale signs of these red threads and a spreading type of pattern. In terms of the patches, they can vary in size from a couple of centimeters right the way up to much bigger sizes and clumps of it. And it can also spread across the lawn almost like a moving pattern. The disease can develop at any time of the year, but there are some environmental conditions that really trigger its growth, which is namely the heat and moisture. So what about controlling? Well, this disease can be controlled in a couple of different ways. And for the homeowner, there is pretty much only one type of treatment available in the UK, which is the Prevanto Lawn Disease Control. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So what else can you do to control red thread? Well, the idea is that this disease will attack susceptible plants and all the plants in the lawn need to grow with nitrogen. So if we push nitrogen into the lawn, hopefully that can increase the strength of the plant and also push out that disease and we can mow it out over a couple of weeks time. I'm going to show you how I apply liquid nitrogen to my lawn. Now I apply liquid nitrogen because it can access the plant quicker. It sits on the leaves and it's absorbed foliarly by the leaves themselves. If you use a granular fertilizer, this can take time to break down and it generally is absorbed by the roots through the soil. So because I want to quickly get on top of this disease and attack it now, I'm going to apply a high nitrogen liquid fertilizer. I've left a link for a couple of bits and bobs that you might need in the description below. The other thing you can do at home is improve the aeration. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do that. You can use a garden fork to create some aeration down into the soil. And also if you've got a lot of thatch, for example, maybe scarifying to try and remove some of the thatch and improve the airflow across the plant surface. So here's how the lawn looks after the treatment. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really motivates me to keep making more content like this. And in around a week or so, I'm gonna be coming back to the lawn to see if it's um, repaired after the nitrogen treatment. So if you're interested in that video, subscribe to my channel and it'll give you a notification for the follow-up video in around a week's time. Thanks for watching. It's Matt, the Garden and Lawn Care Guy, and I'll see you in the next video.